go down here to system preferences in the dock, obviously it might be a different position, and then go up to extensions, up here to extensions, click there. And in extensions, you've got added extensions. If you've installed Affinity Photo and everything's installed correctly, you should see a list of these. Now I've got Photo Beta as well, and you can select or deselect, you can bring them back in or out, just make certain they're all selected or not, depending if you want them. So once you've got all those, what you do, you can close that now, and then go over to Photos. Now here's Photos, if you can't find that, just go over here to Launchpad. So bring up Launchpad, click Photos. Now this is a picture of Ham Yard in Soho in London, where the Mod Scene Club was, the scene. And what you can do, just go up here to the top right and click Edit. So edit photo, and within this you can see adjust filters. You've got a whole range of different filters here. Now, they're not the extensions. The extensions is here. So you've got here, this is the fourth item, fifth item, fifth item, I should say, along this thing. You just click there, and you can see you've got a whole range of them. Divert, retouch, liquefy. Now, of course, because I've got beta as well, I've got them repeated. You can also manage as well. So you can click there, and manage brings up exactly the same. You can do exactly the same thing, just deselect them or select them like that. And you can bring them back up again via this extension. That's just via that feature. Let's just close there again, go there and you can manage. Just manage it very quickly. Also you can of course go to the App Store. I'm not certain particularly what other extensions exist. However, let's just go for one of them. So you've got monochrome say, that's obviously a black and white one. So select that. And within that, it takes a few seconds to process, and then you get this black and white image. You can then manipulate it, so maybe red, green, you can change it, tweak it, change the output curve, maybe brighten it up a bit, highlights, balance, tweak those, all a whole range of different options available. Once you're happy with that, click Save Changes, process it, and you've got your black and white image there. Again, go up here, you've got other ones as well, haze removal, liquify, divert, so click there, takes a few seconds to process, and you've got a whole range of different options here, exposure, modify that, contrast, clarity, a whole range of different things, all via Apple, or as it's now called, Photos. Originally it was called Apple Photos, now obviously called slightly something different, so you can tweak that, and again, save changes or cancel, I'm just gonna cancel, but you can do a whole range of different things, and of course you can always revert to original. So, and then once you're finished, done. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.